So today we're going to talk about email and phone etiquette. You know, I was doing some reading about that. I, I think my etiquette is inadequate, though. No argument here. So maybe you should pay attention to what we're going to present. But we're going to have to talk fast if you expect to get all the suggestions I found into a three-minute video. Well, we'll just hit the highlights, or in your case, the lowlights. Oh, yeah, it's very funny. So, uh, so what's on your list of email peeves? Well, the first thing is to use proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation. I do that all right. Well, good for you. But I'm not sure spelling's taught in school anymore. I got an email once that looked like a cell phone text message. Couldn't understand it at all. Well, there you go. That's the point. What is LOL anyway? Is it uh, lots of luck? Lady of the Lake. Is it short for lolly, uh, uh, lolly it, gag, it's lollipop? It's laugh out loud. Well, that's boring. I like my ideas better. And don't do things like write in all capital letters. It reads like you're angry. Ooh. Hey, our script's in all caps. Uh, does it make you feel angry? Only with you. Uh. Next, be smart about filling in the subject line. First of all, make sure to use it. And when you do, be brief and to the point so folks can quickly see what you're going to talk about. And then, of course, be concise in the body of the email itself. The whole value of the medium is fast communication, and brevity is the soul of wit. Hmm. You know, I tend not to read any emails over 10 words. I just, I just delete them. You know. But what's funny is I like to write long emails. I use the dictionary and I get out the thesaurus a lot, you know. It kind of spice it up. You really do have some etiquette problems. Well, I told you. Uh, excuse me. You also shouldn't send an email when you're angry. What's wrong with venting? I heard it helps you psychologically. That wouldn't help the other person, though. Cool off first, <laughs> then respond, unless you really like to make things messy at work. Well, you know. Just... My, my last points. Reread what you wrote before sending it, and unless you have clear permission and reason to do it, don't send the email to all. Ooh, I did that once. Yeah? Yeah, it was very messy. Yeah, shocking. It and it's very important to respond promptly. If you don't have the time to write back properly, at least let the person know you got the message and we'll be getting back yeah, to Yeah, I can wait till Monday. You know, you did a great job. I feel really terrible right now about my etiquette. So uh, are we going to move on to phone etiquette? Well, sure, if you think that you'll fare better on the phone etiquette I score. Doubt it. Do you have some domestic animal peeves about using the phone? Domestic? Uh, pet, pet peeves. Oh, clever. Uh, just one big one. Uh, fast talkers. Yes, I've reference. This is Gerald. How may I help you? Just because your brain knows what it's saying doesn't mean your mouth's keeping up. And one should allow for slower brains as well. Exactly. Along the same lines, you shouldn't sound rushed or distracted yeah. when you mm -hmm. answer. Yep. You should stop doing whatever you were yeah. doing and give the person your full attention. What if there's a fire? Then I suggest you let the phone ring and get out of the building. But if the building is not burning down, they say you should try smiling when you're talking. It actually makes you sound more pleasant. Really? Hi, this is me. Hi, this is, this is me. Can I possibly help you? Does it help? Does it help? I guess it doesn't work for everyone. Feel right. Oh, I know one. Can I give you one? Mm -hmm. um, don't eat saltwater taffy when you answer the phone. Saltwater taffy. Oh yeah, it, it makes that terrible smacking noise. Well, why not it. just keep stuff out of your mouth uh, when you're on the phone? It hmm. just seems like common sense, doesn't it? Well, I guess not for some people, but uh, are we done? Almost. A couple more. Use your first name when answering the phone. Oh, I do that. Yay! Yeah. Uh, and this one comes up a lot. When you leave a message, always leave a return number or extension. Some people do it at the beginning and the end of a message. Oh, and my extension is 1306. Thank you. Bye. And do I need to repeat that you should keep the message brief? Brevity is the soul of wit. You were paying attention. Yeah, occasionally. Are we done now? Sure. Okay, good. Uh, what am I supposed to do with all the rest of these? These tips, do we do like a, we could do like a 10 minute roll? Well, how about we just have a link up for more information? Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. It's simple. Great. Simple. Um, well, I'll see you later. All right. Hey, where, where are you going? I'm thirsty. I need to get a Mountain Dew. All right. All goodbye, right. Mr. Etiquette. Hey, bye. Cheers, eh?